Hi there, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to the final segment of our five part series on the DJI Mini SE for beginner drone pilots. In this segment, we'll transition you to cinematic flying. And to do that, we're taking our drone to the Central American country of Belize. In this video, we'll pull together pieces from the previous videos to show you some methods and techniques for capturing cinematic shots using your Mini SE. We'll cover the four intelligent flight modes you get with quick shots in the DJI Fly app, but we'll also show you how to manually execute those flight maneuvers. And we'll lay out some standard moves that you can use over and over again to create great cinematic shots. So let's dive in. To start with, what do we mean by cinematic shots? And what are they used for? My definition of cinematic is to capture motion pictures in a visually appealing or unique way. This can be done by using your drone to do one or all of these four moves. Number one, you either push in or you pull out from a subject or a scene. Number two, fly high or fly low to give perspective. Number three is roll the gimbal up or roll the gimbal down to reveal a subject or a scene. And number four is a flyby or around a subject for a parallax effect. Cinematic shots can be used for YouTube videos, marketing videos, real estate sales, weddings, or just about any video production. So it's good to learn and practice these moves. Let's start with the intelligent flight modes in the DJI Fly app. As I mentioned before, when using any automated flight modes, you should always keep your thumb on the flight pause button in case you need to stop the drone. The first intelligent flight mode is called the droney. It's where you pull up and away from a subject. The second DJI intelligent flight mode is the circle, where you circle around a subject, keeping the subject centered. The third intelligent flight mode is called the helix. This is where you spiral up and around a subject. And the last is called rocket. And this is where the drone just pulls up and over top of a subject looking down. The intelligent flight modes are great for getting consistently good shots, but they can't always be relied upon. And to become a great drone pilot, you should learn how to perform these manually. So let's start with the droney. The droney is accomplished by pulling back on the right joystick and then slowly move the left joystick forward or up. Depending on the scene, you may need to slowly roll the gimbal down to keep the subject in the frame. This takes practice doing all three moves at the same time. Make sure you know what's behind the drone before doing this or you could crash into something. The circle, which is also called the orbit, is done by moving the left and right joysticks in opposite directions depending on which way you want to circle, either clockwise or counterclockwise. I find it easier to start by slowly rolling the drone with the right joystick, then add left joystick as appropriate. The helix can be a little difficult, but again, practice makes good. The helix is carried out by slow roll using the right joystick, then followed by slowly moving the left joystick in the opposite direction and adding upward movement to make the drone ascend or climb, resulting in a spiral movement up and around a subject. This can be challenging and always make sure you have lots of space around you. The rocket starts out with simply moving the left joystick forward or up, and as the drone rises, the gimbal is rotated downward to keep the subject in the frame. Once the drone gets to the desired height, the right joystick is moved very slightly forward to move the drone overhead the subject. These moves are very specific maneuvers that can be useful, but in reality, you will probably use a combination of these to capture cinematic footage. Again, the goal is to capture motion pictures in a visually appealing or unique way. So practice pushing in or pulling away from a scene, then add in altitude or decrease altitude to see how that affects the shot. Practice doing these moves while rolling the gimbal up or down and fly by or around a subject to get a parallax effect. 
As a beginner drone pilot, these are a great place to start honing your skills while capturing some great cinematic aerial footage. As you become more experienced, you'll learn different techniques or combinations of these moves to create your own brand of cinematography. Just remember that cinematic drone footage should tell a story and be visually appealing or unique. All right, that's all for this video and this series. I hope you found it to be helpful in getting you started with your Mini SE and more comfortable with flying your drone in general. As always, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the UAV Coach channel, and click the notifications bell so you'll be notified as we roll out more videos. And from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. Bye for now.